All right, so I've added a little bit something new to the uh, antenna switch program here. I'm still programming it and testing it, but I thought I'd put it out there and get your feedback on it and see what you guys think. I actually took the band data port out of the back of the transceiver here, and I am decoding that binary code in software to tell me which band I'm on on the box. So you can do this with hardware and uh, you know BCD to decimal ICs um, but it was just it just seemed like overkill when you can actually just program it to do that and just take the raw data out of the transceiver and decode it in software I did build a band decoder board uh, optical interface for the uh, box so this is optically isolated from the transceiver in case anything goes to the box or from the box it cannot it can it's electrically isolated with optical isolators so um, yeah so this is a pretty pretty neat little feature once you uh, go in here and you select your antenna you can antenna one selected tuning zero five you can tune the antenna up and it tells you which band you're on so if I go to 12 meters here 12 meters it actually will tell tell you which band you're on I'll go back to 10 10 meters I'll shut the radio off radio off turn it back on 10 meters 12 meters 10 meters so yeah, that's a nice little feature for this, and um, you know, I, I, I've searched the internet on, uh, you know, options to do this, and there was very little out there, and somebody actually wrote up a nice little article on how to build the actual circuit board to do this, and back, it probably goes back quite a few years for the Yezu pinout. Uh, this uses a band data connector, it's an 8 pin DIN. It's a very special odd pin, eight pin din. It's not the typical eight pin din. It's an actually it's not a two seventy degree pin uh, pin out. It is actually a two sixty two degree pin pin out. It's almost shaped like a horseshoe. Uh, you're gonna make sure you get the right pin for the radio, or else you can really seriously damage the connector and or the transceiver. So if anybody's planning on doing that, that is the correct connector because I could not find. Uh, uh, a straightforward answer from anybody on which connector it was and uh, I, I, I'm telling you now it's the 262 uh, degree 8 pin DIN for the FT2000 and uh, probably a lot of other Yezu radios so um, there is uh, like I said an article on how to you know build a band decoder board but uh, nowadays with the uh, Arduino and and uh, the programming software it, it just much easier to take the band data directly from the transceiver and just optically isolate it into your Arduino and just write the software for it um, yeah so if you have any questions uh, leave a comment below I'd love to hear your feedback on this it's a nice little feature I might be able to incorporate this in other things like I can automatically go to a band 12 meters and I can actually set up which antenna I am. I, I like to use uh, for a favorite on that band. Automatically switch to that antenna and tune it. So I basically won't even have to touch this box. It will just automatically select the antenna I want and tune it automatically just by you know selecting through the different bands I'm on. And obviously I'll have an option in here to change that favorite. So. Um, yeah, that's that's my idea, and um, well, we'll see what happens with that. But uh, all right, if you like the video, uh, you know, come back, and, and we'll uh, we might have some more on this. If not, um, I'm sure we'll have more things to add to this. But uh, you know, I don't know. It's just like I said, it's a it's a work as you go type of project. But all right, guys, have a good night, and uh, we'll see you in the next.